Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I wanted to just share a few things that are going on. Um, I just had an amazing time at the Metabolic Health Summit with a lot of my best friends in the keto space. So much I want to share, and I'm going to be doing that this week. I'm going to be posting some of my key learnings, some of my favorite talks, and some of the things that I think I should pass on to you guys um, as far as what's going on, what's the thought process. Um, and I'm really encouraged to see that some of my favorite speakers, Mark Sisson and Rob Wolf, are kind of on the same page as I am right now. And so for that reason, I wanted to take this time to take, uh, take you all through what I plan on doing this month. So today is Monday, and I'm going to be doing something that my good friend Mike Mutzel has thought of called Metabolic Mondays. I will be uh, doing a longer fast on Mondays, about 20 to 24 hours. I say 20 to 24 because today is not going to be a full 24 hours because I got home late last night and I was still hungry. It was 10 o'clock here and it was 7 o'clock uh, Cali time, so I ate a little bit when I got home. But um, I will have one meal today. Um, no coffee today. Um, it's basically green tea and matcha tea. Um, the Keto Farms matcha tea is basically has, it has matcha, but it has a few other things. It's got some fat in it. Um, so this whole thing has the Keto Farms matcha tea as well as one tablespoon of avocado oil. And basically the whole goal of this Metabolic Monday is to just cut down the protein a little bit one day a week since I'm always consuming very high protein and um, get that protein from fish sources. So what I'll be doing today is fasting all day. Um, I'll be doing some low intensity cardio. I'll be... Um, doing my 200 and 200, um, having this now, and I'm going to be drinking a ton of water and green tea all day, definitely taking some advice from Dr. Dina Glantonio, trying to include more green tea in my life uh, for the polyphenols and the antioxidants in it. And then um, right around lunchtime or a little bit after, I'll probably have a little bit of olive oil. So it's fat fast, if you want to call it that. Um, and then I'll have tonight a big old salad with uh, yellowtail and salmon and macadamia and olive oil and MCT oil and avocados. Just a bunch of really good nourishing food. Um, lots of monounsaturated fats, over 100 grams of monounsaturated fat today. And then the rest of the week, I will be alternating between carnivore days where I'm just basically eating meat. Still trying to do what I said with you guys. Uh, I've shared a little bit on um, trying to bring in some more monounsaturated fats. So possibly including a lot of that Laura's Lean ground beef, the 96.4, um, and adding some olive oil to it to change the fat profile. But still eating, you know, my steaks and, and all that other stuff. And then I'll be playing a little bit with the um, paleo days, which um, my paleo days will be... Um, higher carb, so it'll be probably like 100 to 120 carbs on those days, all within a fasting window. So I'll be doing like 16 to 18 hours of fasting. Um, and then I'll be having sweet potatoes and blueberries and cabbage and avocado and all of my favorite plant sources of, um, of carbohydrate. And um, it's not a big list. You probably heard the whole list as it is. Maybe some butternut squash here and there. And I'll be testing my blood ketones, my blood sugar, I'll be getting body fat, I'll be getting blood work, and I'll be comparing and seeing how all of those things feel and uh, sharing that with you guys. So have an awesome, awesome week. I'm really excited to see what new learnings this brings, and um, I'll share them all with you. Take care.